Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on in to Legends of Wrestling uh, Dream Matches. We have been mostly doing uh, some dream matches lately uh, with the first two videos. Um, this was supposed to be a continuation of the World Heavyweight Tournament of uh, Full Transparency. My data corrupted and deleted, and I re had to re-download everything last night, which took hours, but whatever. Uh, I've tried to recreate the tournament the way I had it, and none of it was the, uh, lining up for me to be able to continue off that, so we're just scrapping it. We're going to call this the Redux. <laughs> um, different competitors this time. I, I, I changed it up a bit. Uh, so today we are going to start off with a dream match that a lot of wrestling purists would like to see, Seth Rollins versus Shawn Michaels. Uh, in a lot of people's opinions, two generational talents. So let's dive on into it. Look for a lot of quick hits and, and moves that come out of nowhere with both guys being considered the greatest of their generation. Shawn Michaels arguably always considered the greatest of all time. Big hip toss followed by an elbow from Shawn. The buckle bomb from Seth Rollins, the same move that broke Sting's neck from Seth Rollins. Shawn Michaels experience winning over here at the moment. What people need to stop and think about is Shawn Michaels switch in music and come out of nowhere and come lightning fast we got a quick cover only a one count but Seth Rollins also has the curb stomp or the stomp or the blackout whatever you want to call it that could also come out of nowhere from any angle big neck break neck breaker from Shawn Michaels snap suplex followed by a respectful cover it seems going into this match, both men just are, are feeling each other out and using the utmost respect for each other's skills going into this. Big flipping senton from Seth. John Michaels with back-to-back -back scorpion splashes. Oh, and who's going to be the first one to blink? Seth Rollins winning the exchange would out of stamina to continue the fight. Oh, and a big backbreaker followed by a crossface. Most people know to attack Sean's back as he missed four years due to retirement of the back injury. Oh, and a big FU as he uses the rocker dropper, one of Sean's old moves. And only a two count. Sean tossing Seth out of the ring. Oh, and a big plancho. Another rocker dropper. 10, 11, 12. Both men not wanting to end the count. I'll get back in the ring. Oh, and a big swing blade. Oh, suplex.
Seth again using the rocker dropper. Been pretty effective against Sean so far. Sean barely getting his shoulder up. Oh, and the report knee. Almost the three count again. Who do we got coming down to the ring? We got Triple H, Shawn Michaels' longtime DX partner. And it looks like Triple H is going against Shawn and helping out his protege. Triple H not using the DX love, instead he's, he's, he's going the authority route. Triple H putting a beating on his former best friend and a big crack shot for the fans. Oh, and a big Triple H fine buster. Big in the year. Another one. Oh, and a pedigree just like his mentor taught him. That could be all. And it is. And Seth moves on after interference from Triple H. And the heartbreak kid has to be heartbroken that his best friend stabbed him in the back. Maybe reigniting a feud between Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Alright, next up we got Randy Orton versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Apex Predator versus the, the Rattlesnake. The RKO versus the Stunner. like to point out how much of a coup it would have been for Randy Orton back in his evolution days to be able to face off against Austin and kill the legend of Stone Cold for his legend killer gimmick. But to my knowledge, outside of, of when he went, when, when Randy Orton went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cactus Jack in a hardcore match, Randy Orton has never been test to the limits the way Stone Cold will test him with the with the ass whooping that Stone Cold could put on him. Randy Orton's best offense will be to stay as technical as possible. Yeah. Oh, and a big body slam. One. Austin using his brawling technique to his advantage. Test the strength. Who's going to win it? And Austin hit it and dropped to hold. Yeah. A big scoop slam to the outside of the ring again. Two. What people need to remember is before Stone Cold broke his neck in 97, Stone Cold was one of the most... Seven. Uh, best gifted technical wrestlers in the planet on the planet at that point uh, but after breaking his neck had to ooh and a big chair shot he had to uh, change his style and went for the brawler style which paid off for him in the end because he turned it into the career that he had giving the Stone Cold Steve Austin a different a character a different attitude than what he had had Big sidewalk slam on the chair. Oh, 
got another one on the chair. Gotta think all the dirty tricks that Austin knows Randy would know because Randy was mentored by Rick Flair who has been nicknamed the dirtiest player in the game. Big reversal from Randy will it pay off? And it doesn't. Fujiwara armbar. Smart move on Austin knowing that Randy's had all those shoulder problems in the past. Randy Orton with a straight combination of his own. Austin hasn't done enough damage yet to get the job done. Oh, a big suplex from Orton. And then a knee drop. Orton picking up steam. Oh, but a big Texas spine buster from Stone Cold. Once again, working on the Fuja armbar. Big Texas spine buster from Stone Cold. Telling him he's number one. Austin Suplex and Randy right out of the ring. Big suplex to the outside of the ring. Oh, and a big angle slam. Austin is out on his feet, but beats the refs count. from Randy Orton. Orton closing. Here comes Macho Man Randy Savage. Gotta wonder who he's getting involved for. Macho Man coming out of here to the aid of Randy Orton. Yeah. Austin trying to fight off both Randys. But the numbers game is slowly catching up to him. A super RKO, and that could be all she wrote for Austin. Oh, and Austin kicks out. He's gonna be the first one to blink.
Both men starting to get tired. Oh, and a big belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Oh, and a hook, a hooking neck breaker. Oh, and Orton goes for the RKO, but completely misses. Oh, and Austin with a gut wrench toss. Oh, and a big DDT vintage from Randy Orton. Stopping any momentum Austin had at the moment. Big spinning Samoan drop, it looked like. Oh, and a big scoop slam from Austin. Into the end of the angle slam from Randy Orton. Austin out on his feet. Austin telling him he's number one. Oh, and a belly to back suplex. Another gut wrench toss. One has to believe if Austin does not go for the stunner soon. And a big vintage power slam from Randy Orton. But if Austin doesn't go for a stunner soon, it will be game over. Another big power slam. Orton in clear control at the moment. Gotta believe whoever hits their finish next will be the winner. Hooking neck breaker once again. Orton missing his combo. Orton fighting back, not letting Austin hit that stunner. Right in Austin's face, the taunt. Uh, another hooking neck breaker. Followed by a swinging neck breaker. No, oh, and a big running DDT from Randy again. Austin is completely out. But not out of the fight. Oh, an awesome with a big close one. Followed up by a big drop kick. Angle slam once again. And he misses the RKO. You have to believe if he would have connected, it would have been over. Oh, and Austin using a low blow. Pulls on to the back of the neck. Oh, and a big T bone suplex. Belly to back from Orton. Oh, and Orton connects. Oh, but Austin no selling, getting right back up from the RKO, followed by a stunner. And this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Austin telling me he's number one. Deep pin. And Austin picks up the win after no selling an RKO. At 25 minutes, 6 seconds, Austin is the winner. 
and will advance into the tournament to go against Seth freaking Rollins. What a match. 94%. I could easily agree with that one. We might have to run that back at some point. That was a hell of a match. All right, next up we got the great one, the Brahma Bull and Hollywood's favorite tight t-shirt wearing Samoan, The Rock, going up against the original Slim Jim, Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. is going to have him in the strength but Randy will be the more technical and the more quicker of the two unless we got pre-roided rock then, then their speed could be the same nice drop toe hold takedown rock suplexing Randy out of the ring swinging that breaker from the rock going for a disrespectful pin right away oh and a big scoop slam Scoop slam with authority from Majo Man. Oh, and a sharpshooter by the rock. Randy Orton, or Randy Orton, Randy Savage not weak enough to, to fall to the sharpshooter yet. Who's going to blink first? Oh, and it was Randy Savage. Rock follows up by a chin lock. Randy Savage using a submission I haven't seen before, but that was brutal. into a bulldog. Oh no, Randy Savage using the Boston Crab on the rock. Breaking combination from the Macho Man. Rock using a Russian leg sweep to calm down the momentum of Randy Savage. Both men not letting the other one pick up any kind of momentum, staying on top of each other. Oh, big neck breaker. Looked like Randy Savage was going for Harley Race knee. One, two. And only a two count.
Ooh, and a big bulldog from Randy Savage. Oh, into a neck breaker. Oh, and almost a three uh, three count off the neck breaker from Randy Savage. Oh, and a big spinning DDT for the Rock. Oh, and there's a big knee from Randy Savage that he's been trying to hit. Oh, followed up by a big clothesline. Now Randy's picking up all the momentum. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Ten Many have to believe that Randy Savage is setting Rock up for the flying elbow. Yeah. Oh, and a big pile driver from Randy Savage. Rock tossing Randy Savage out of the ring to give some of his win back. Trading blows once again. Who will blink? Is he going for it? And oh, he misses the big elbow. Followed by a Russian leg sweep. Oh, and Rock getting a big clothesline. Ooh, and a low blow by Randy Savage to slow down the Rock. Oh, Randy, oh. Randy, well, you gotta believe it, looking for the power driver again. And Rock with another spinning DDT. One cold line from the rock. Oh, Another close count. with that spinning DDT again. Yeah. Oh, and a big foul driver. Savage laying the smack down on the rock. Bring it. Rock said not today. Bring it. Rock using that spinning DDT to his advantage once again.
Oh. Ooh, and a big clothesline from Randy. Oh, and another big neck breaker. him with the pile driver. Savage. Nope. Both men so tired just running into each other. Followed by a swinging netbreaker. Ooh, and a low blow by Randy Savage. Savage beats a defeated and tired out rock. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Macho Man moves on in the tournament. Ninety-three percent. Both men hitting very big moves. Another match that we could run back in the future. Alright guys, well given the length of the last two matches, we will see the next set of matches, which is Batista versus Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho versus Ricochet, Bray Wyatt versus Abyss, and if time permits, Roman Reigns versus MJF. We will have that video out on Saturday. Until then, thank you for keeping the dream alive with Legend of Wrestling. Thank you.